Hi, Gina here with Peace, Love, and Homeschool, and I'm back with a brand new Reading Between the Lines 2019. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your new year is going well. Mine has been pretty great. Nothing major so far. So all is well on that front. And um, I took some time off over the holidays. So that was really nice. Um, it was kind of hard to get back into the swing of things. It's already here. It is the end of January. And I'm just now, um, you know, getting around to getting my first video up for the new year. Um, I also have some little friends over here. My little friends are some finches I got for Christmas and I love them so much and I'm really kind of worried they're going to be real noisy through the video. I hope they're not annoying. Um, we'll film this and see how it goes, I guess. So today's video is hosted by Ingrid from Mommy Mia Homeschool Chronicles and April from The Simple Rigged Path. Uh, there's also several of us joining in on this collaboration, so the link, as always, will be down in the description box and right up here in the little i card. And the book I'll be reviewing today is called Angel Song by Sheila Walsh and Katherine Cushman. I put it off for a while and I ended up having to order the Kindle book because I didn't want to wait for the book to come in. So. I read it on Kindle. It's my first book I read all the way through on Kindle. I was surprised I was able to complete it because I just really prefer holding a good book. So this book is about a woman named Ann Fletcher who is going from New York to South Carolina to visit her sister, or actually to attend her sister's graduation, uh, who was graduating from college with her MSW. While she was there and before the graduation, they got into a car accident. Anne was waiting for her sister to come out of surgery. She heard this song that was played. It was the most beautiful melody she'd ever heard. And when she was talking to someone, she mentioned the song that was being played in the chapel and he said there was no piano or song in there. Um, so that started something because she kept hearing the song throughout that. She thought she was losing her mind. Um, this book is basically about angels watching over you, um, which I like that concept. So in this story, Anne is not a Christian, but her sister and her sister's friends are all Christians. So this is a very interesting scenario here where Anne has to deal with these people who are willing to take her in and love her and um, help her and help her through this time in her life when Anne is sitting there feeling like she doesn't deserve this and she doesn't know these people and she's built these walls around her protecting herself from people like, like these people. So there are a few questions I'm going to answer about this book and the first one is how did the book make you feel? Well in the very beginning it was really sad so I, I mean it really you know tugged at those heartstrings. As the book continued I felt a little bit annoyed at the character of Anne because she was so stubborn and she would not listen to these people and she kept holding them at arm's length and I've just never met any person like that before so it was kind of just bothered me that this person was like this. The next question is how did you feel about how the story was told? I really enjoyed this story. It, it was very interesting. I love the idea about angels watching over us and guiding us in the right direction. The romance part was okay because it wasn't like heavy on the romance at all, but I feel like towards the end of the story when Anne started, uh, when things started resolving, then it just kind of abruptly ended. It just, I don't know how to explain it without giving away the ending. I just didn't like how that, um, that happened. It just seemed too, I don't know, not enough depth there at the end, and then just like suddenly, okay, this finally happened, so this. And that's just not how it works. I don't know, it just didn't seem to me like that it would work that way that quickly. So I really appreciated that this book was light on the romance part of things. The next question is, what did you think about the main characters? 
I really liked all the characters. Somehow I just connected with them. I think character development was good in this story. As for who I related to the most or the least, I probably related the least to Anne. I don't know who I really related to the most. Maybe Anne's neighbor, I think her name was Tammy. She was very patient with her. So yes, I think it was Tammy that I related to most um, and the respect that Tammy had her son who was um, Down syndrome and she devoted her life to her son. As a homeschool mom, I had given my everything to my kids, so that, in that respect, I related to her. And then plus she stayed home and worked at home, so there again, I related to that as well. So the next question is, which parts of the book stood out to you? There's a quote that I really enjoyed in this book, and it says, um, even something that appears broken in the hands of a master artist can be made into something more beautiful than the original. So I just love that quote. An example of Anne and her stubbornness and her not understanding um, was this quote. Yeah, well, there's nothing you can do for me, so you may as well get back to where you belong. Go hang out with people you and like you and Tammy, the ones who have it all together and, some, and not some mixed up piece of work like I am. People who've got it all together, is that what you think about us? And nodded. Isn't that what church is all about? It's a meeting of people who aren't as messed up as the rest of us. <laughs> so that is so typical of people who don't understand what church is about and who, who God is. It just was a great reminder to me that people really don't get it. As a Christian, we need to be patient and we need to really teach them that a church is not for perfect people, that we go to church because we're not perfect people. So that really stood out to me. There's a part in the story where Anne is in New York and she sees pictures, she's with a friend at an art gallery, and she sees pictures of Hagar in the wilderness with an angel I think the angel's about to come and talk to her, but she, the angel's not there yet. And it's so interesting to see her perspective of the story. And then um, the person she's with explains that perspective a little better. And through that whole interaction and all the talk about that, because she even went at home and printed out um, pictures, you know, more scenes or more artist renditions of this scene. And it just brought up a lot that I had not thought about as far as how God is there watching over us and sends his angels for us. And what I loved about that is how the Lord used that, you know, he used the artists, the hardest rendition of these Bible stories um, to help Anne understand a little better. Um, so that also showed me that, you know, I need to keep using the things or the gifts that God has given me um, because you never know how he's going to use that. I, if I'm going to be his hands and feet, I need to be using the things he's given me to be the hands and feet of Jesus. So that was a really good reminder to me to stay intentional in the things that I do and the things that I pursue and using the talents that he's given me. Because some of the talents that I do have, I have let go by the wayside. So. Um, it's been a long time since I've used them, and I, uh, it's been on my heart lately to use these talents, and then this book talks about these things, which brings this up, and it just kind of felt like um, God was saying, see, I told you, <laughs> I was talking to you, listen up. Okay. So the next question is, what is your impression of this author? Now, I don't really have a lot of experience with this author. I have read one other book of hers, but it was a non-fiction book, so I feel like that's not a good comparison. I thought her writing style was good and her storytelling ability was also good, except she was a bit predictable. Um, I just kind of could see where the story was headed, but the other part of the story about, you know, the angels and all that, that was, that was a really good storyline. I enjoyed that quite a lot. As far as reading another book by this author, um, I don't think I will be reading, especially if this is her genre. Um, so I don't think I'll be reading another book by this author because I'm just not 
into the romance. So the next question is, did you like it more or less than other books in the same genre? You know, I appreciated the fact that it was clean. It wasn't any smut in there, even though it was romance. Um, I thought it was a good clean book and I, I enjoyed that part of it. And finally, how did the book change you? As I spoke about earlier, it really helped me to see that I need to use my talents more. And it also helped me look further into that story of Hagar in the wilderness. And yes, basically it really made me want to use my talents more for the Lord. And it was a great reminder that everything we do is not just about us, that it's about helping others find their way to Jesus, you know, pointing them to Jesus. So um, even though it, this book did not mention Jesus a lot, it really focused on the angel end of things. So I would have preferred more talk about Jesus and Jesus being the way to the Lord. So um, that just didn't happen in this book. So that was the last question in this book review. Um, please don't forget to check out the playlist down below. I am sure there are several other people that are participating in this that can get their points across better than I did here today. Kind of feel like I struggled with this one for some reason. I'm not sure why, but um, I do feel like I struggled. Um, I am enjoying how these books are stretching me and doing this review is stretching me quite a lot. So I'm just not used to doing book reviews. That could be a lot of it too, is me being just uncomfortable with the whole thing. But <laughs> at least it's helping me work through things because there's some things I work through with these questions that I didn't even realize when, before I sat down here to um, answer the questions. So thanks so much Ingrid and April for putting this club together. It's gonna be a fun year. I look forward to all the books we're gonna read this year. I'm ready to order and dive into the next one, but I'm not sure what that is yet. I don't know if it's been posted. I didn't check before I did this video. So um, I guess we'll find out next month. It'll be a surprise for all of us, right? So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.